Hello, Paul here, and I'm gonna share with you something pretty groundbreaking. It is called text-to-vector graphic. Uh, it's currently in beta, basically type in a phrase and you'll get those graphics. So those vector graphics easily separate those out, manipulate it any way you want. Let me show you exactly how it works. So in Illustrator, right over here, Properties Panel, Text to Vector Graphic Beta. I have this set to Subject, and then you type in whatever you want for the prompt. So we'll do 1950s style dog in an astronaut suit, floating retro flat graphic style. It generates three different variations. We can see them right here. Everything is looking good. It's not going to be perfect right out of the gate, but it is vector. So you could always take this and modify it any way you want for any one of these. Because I'm thinking actually what would be nice is if I wanted to remove this white outline right here, we can always jump in and remove that because it is vector based. All right, so uh, this is not really the style I'm going for. I did want a flat graphic style, but my sort of flat graphic style. So on that note, this is the flat graphic style I'm looking for. Yeah, there's some gradients in there, but this is what I want it to sample. So right over here, we're going to match active artboard style with that turned on. Also note, you can actually sample it if you want to click and sample just using this style picker right here. So that's how you can sample that, but it's already being sampled. We'll click generate and here are our results. We have three different variations that match the active artboard style. Now there's more subjects that I can generate, but what I really need to make is the background. So what I typically do is draw out a big rectangle that's going to be the size of the background that I want. Let me change the color and I'll still have that image on my artboard to sample that artboard style. Then we'll change the type to scene. And for the prompt, we'll type in 1950s style, alien planet, landscape, retro graphic style, keeping that consistent. It will create that vector content and give me three different variations. You also have a detail slider that you can adjust to add as much or as little detail as you want. Now, one more really helpful tip is this little flyout menu, open text to vector graphic beta panel. I like this, it's resizable, and notice how it will store all your variations. So it's like having a bunch of Illustrator files within your Illustrator file. It also stores the prompt with the image. I tend to use this panel almost as a library of graphics so I can quickly just really assemble whatever I want just for quick designing. Now this is based on Adobe Firefly technology which is constantly changing and actually getting better so the prompts you generate today might be different than tomorrow. But here's my final version. I decided to put it in Adobe Express and add some animation. So try it out today and share with me what you create.